truth seekers and direct real realists. We're gonna do some experiments. This is the first one. I'm just setting it up. So what we got here, what we have here is a failure to communicate. Okay, so I'm just setting up the tripod. So what we have here is our reference frame right here. We're going to uh, drop two objects, right? Not contained objects in water bottles that a certain uh, rising earth movement is, is, you know, all jerk, having circle jerks over, which doesn't even represent this reality. We don't live in a fucking water bottle, okay? First mistake, false equivalencies, right? They're good at that, these fuckers. So we're gonna set them straight. We're gonna set the world straight and stationary like it, like we experience, right? So we're gonna do some real life, demonstrable, practical experiments that you guys can repeat quite easily. We're gonna measure the speed of two objects falling from here to here in this reference frame. Okay, comprendes? Shed heads, are you listening? Okay. So we're gonna measure the speed that I drop two objects of different weights and buoyancies, fuck tarts, and we'll see which one drops quicker. So we'll measure speed distance over time, right? Real life physics, right? Equations that anyone can use and get the same results. These, my results won't leave your, your mind baffled, right? I'm here to, to find out where I am, not what the fuck the earth is doing, okay? It's ridiculous and retarded, and I'm gonna show you why, okay? Stay tuned. This first experiment is gonna be, um, uh, demonstrate weights, right? Weights, you don't need motion for weight, okay? That's a fucking delusion, okay? And we're gonna show you why. And you can repeat this experiment yourselves, okay? So, then the next experiment I'm going to show you is I'm going to hold a helium balloon and the same object rock. So basically I got a rock and I got a big sort of like ding dong ball like uh, baby Del boy. What's his name? Uh, Shil William? Shil Shilliam or William? 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 Uh, that claims to be level headed. And these fucking retards want you to imagine a reference frame in an imaginary world, which must be contained for all their fucking delusions to work. There's no other options. You can't have it both ways, lads. And, uh, you know, just like the globe, you have to imagine, right, where we are, spinning and sprawling. There's no motion, right? We're stationary, in fact, right? Constant motion is the same as what fucking shithead shell tards. Constant motion is the same feeling and experience as what on earth in this reality being stationary fuck you okay let's go let's go so we're gonna or we're gonna release a balloon in the same reference frame okay from about here where the ladder is the center right we're gonna measure the speed and distance and time it takes for the balloon to rise and the same rock i'm using for the ding dong heads uh, experiment to fall right so we'll do the first experiment and then we'll do the helium balloon right i'm just setting up the cameras and tripods you know this is all repeatable anybody can do this lads right and understand it i'm not going to leave you bewildered like you fucking idiots in this in doing these water bottle false equivalents uh, false equivalent experiments like va uh, a, a balloon in a van. Do we now live in vans like Jake the asshole? Dell? Do we? Do we live in a fucking van? Do we live in a water bottle? Do you see? Do you see the the false equivalencies? You fucking idiots! They're deceivers. Okay, let's go. Let's go fucking show these deceivers what reality shows us. To show, right? Not a false equivalency. We don't live in a fucking van, you goofs. Um, we live in an open environment, right? We don't live in a fucking van. So, therefore, mute, another mute point. They like to bring mute points, like constant motion is the same feeling and sensation as being stationary, still. So, your whole argument's a fucking mute point to anyone with a brain, you fucking retards. Okay, so, like I said, my experiment won't be a false equivalency like all yours. 
R, I, right? I'm gonna drop a balloon or drop a rock and let go of a helium balloon in an open atmosphere. You know that we live and breathe in? We don't live in a fucking van, shitheads. And not with a false equivalency fucking deceiving experiment with a fucking ping pong ball attached to a fucking uh, slinky in a water bottle. Is that reality, fuckwits? No. No, it isn't, is it? And you fucks know this. What the fuck are you really up to, hey? Hey, lads. So therefore, doing this experiment, we can uh, demonstrate that buoyancy and density exist in free fall. Facts of this reality. And we can also measure the distance, speed, uh, distance and time to give us an equation of speed. The objects are both moving, which I will also share with you, right? Okay, game over, fuckwits. Well, I've been around this fucking flat earth world a long before you fucks, right? Before Eric to bit she'll bay even, right? Myself and uh, Plain Truth and a few others. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, like that Dubai fucker, the Jesuit bloodlines, like, looks just like that fucking prince and, you know, hooking up with fucking Thai general's daughter. It's their bloodlines that they hide, guys. That's why Dell won't talk about Jesuits and Masons, because he is one. It's pretty fucking obvious. And he'll fucking attack and slander anyone that fucking talks about it or anything but what he wants you to fucking understand. Right? You fucking goof. Fuck you. Get the fuck. You Masonic fucking cuck sucking shill. Both you and Eric DeBay. All he is, William. You're all the same. You know, because your actions don't make sense. Good people don't go around chat and chats and fucking attack people. Right? First you ban Banner, then you go to his fucking chat and attack him. You fucking narcissistic cunt. And the fucking support shirt for the br real brothers. My real brothers. Right? Tough guy. Right? Me and Antonio talked quite in depth about your fucking plastic fucking shred, Dell. Antonio knew who the fuck you were. So did I from the beginning. You don't go from a fucking back garden to a fully produced fucking show, shit show, right? With fucking creepy weirdos like Merle and Marshall. Creeps. Fucking absolute fucking creepy fuckers, right? And Brenda, right? It's all part of your fucking shit show, your shite show, you fucking Masonic goof. I always used to wonder why, why he's still got this creepy fucking weirdo, Merle, on his show, right? And he showed his fucking true colors too, didn't he? Like you did, Dell, and Banners, and many other chats, right? You won't talk about what I'm saying, or Brian's logic, or a plain truth. You won't talk about us. You know better, don't you, son? You fucking know better. I'm telling you, guys, this guy is a piece of shit. Piece of shit. Deceptive, deceiving, lying cunt. Hypocrite, narcissistic behaviors. Who does that, Dell? Who goes to chats and attacks people? Trolls? Paid fucking social media disruptors? And psychopaths? End of. I'm gonna try to get away from all you shilly cunts. That's why I'm wearing my red. To honor the dead. A direct realist, right? A man who made a fucking difference, Dell, because he was trying to find out where the fuck we really are. Not like you trying to fucking find out what the fuck we're doing, you fucking goof. And this for Sheeps and Neeps and Eddie and all the other fucking good people you slandered, you piece of shit, cocksucking Jesuit shill. Fuck you, fuck you. I know the fucking game, lads. Eric's on the fucking righteous side. Uh, of, of stationary flat plane and his fucking models and his imaginary domes that he puts in all his videos and Dell's Mr. Rising Earth right to create the split you see fuck that you see dummies I see right through you you fucking plastic fucking plastic wannabe fucking men acting tough online tough guy Tough guy, hey? Bully man, shed man, talking to you. Tough guy? This is where I live. In reality. Welcome to my world.
sun. So you and your fucking Jesuit principalities of darkness and your little Prince of Monaco on the other side, Mr. DeBay, go get the fuck. Get the fuck. Both of yous. Snakes. Jesuit fucking... I smell... What's that I smell? I smell shite. Yep. It's shite. Hey, they did the same thing in the 70s and brought out the rising earth. Right, I'll repost the video of that too for you fuckers. <laughs> right? Oh, fuck. A fucking circus. A charade. That's all it is, right? These Both these guys, Eric Dubay and Beyond the Imaginary Curve. Gigs up, boys. Gigs up, lads. Agents in place. This is my space. Get the fuck out of it. Stay out of Banner's chat, both of yous. All of yous. You fucking trolling weak gimps, gimpy gimps. The fucking man just survived fucking cancer treatments, you fucking piece of shit goose. Fuck the fuck off. Last warning. Leave Banner the fuck alone. He's a real fucking warrior. A real fucking man. Not like you weak fucking gimps that attack a fucking in individual for having a different fucking opinion than you. Fuck the fuck off. Or beliefs. Because you need fucking beliefs to imagine your, your reference frame, where you're going with this. What the fuck is your motive? Right? I know your motive. It's to divide. You see? And the final experiments. And it's going to make us all look like fucking idiots. All part of your fucking Jesuit cock-sucking plan. Cock-sucking plan, isn't it, lads? I see right through it. Many do. Many see right through you, Dell. And Eric. And Jaren. You're all the same. That's why you always fucking talk about Nathan. And you always bring attention to the fucking dichotomy. The false fucking plastic Jesuit priest dichotomy. The deceptive world. Doesn't matter if it's flat earth, globe earth, whatever. You're all in place. I see right through you all. Get the fuck. You know, you fucktards, hypocrites talk about, oh, you need w the special magical forces to give things weight. No, you don't. It's density and buoyancy, volume, mass, displacement, aerodynamics, as in mind-blowing speeds from parachuters with speed measuring devices that measure up to 300 fucking kilometers an hour if they're fucking weightless. How the fuck do they do that? Derp, derp. Don't need woo-woo. You need the woo-woo. You're pushing the woo-woo, Del. Because you need woo-woo to imagine what kind of fucking imaginary rising earth reference frame are we talking about? Like, we're, like, Dude. You need imagination to, to, to imagine your, your, your imaginary rising earth, Del. Is it enclosed? Is it open? Is it, is it closed like your water bowl in your van? Or is it open like the air in your head? Yeah. Oh, no woo-woo needed here, folks, on Emerald's channel. You'll fully understand what's going on and, and why it's going on. Right, because we live on a flat stationary plane. It's motionless. You know, you don't need uh, motion to get weight. Right? To, to it, that's a fantasy. So this fucktard wants you to hand wave dismiss uh, weights, density, buoyancy. Just hand wave dismiss it. Doesn't mean shit. It's you're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. If you think the Earth is fucking stationary, fuck you. I'm gonna come troll you. I'm gonna come send my minions beyond belief and, and all these min all my ball suckers are coming for you. Even even Shilliam. He's got balls, they're, they're small, like little peanuts, but they're they're balls. Do you see Del? I got a fucking bulge down here. Yeah, I don't see no bulge on you, Del. You must have a like something small that kinda kinda looks like a dick, but smaller? Yeah, just hand wave, hand wave dismissed what's beyond this reality, the reference frame. Doesn't really matter. We're rising up. I'm certain. I dropped a water bottle and I did a balloon test in a van. Man. 
Why doesn't anyone come talk to me? Why didn't any scientists ever show up here? They haven't got the balls. They haven't got the balls to talk to, to me about rising earth. What the fuck? Odell, most intelligent people like myself and Banner and many others in Banner's chat have the intel intellectual honesty to admit we'll never know where we fucking are. So what's the point of fucking, it's a mute point, right? Constant motion is the same as being still. Mute point, Dell. mute. Mute, shut the fuck up. Mute your fucking mouth, lad. Right? You're making yourself look like a wee fucking retard. And, and I'm helping, I'm exposing you right now. What are you gonna say now, lad? You Jesuit cocksucker. See you, wee bastard. You fuck with my friends, you're fucking with me. You understand, son? Well, take your Delevator retarded fucking deltoidedness, deltardedness, and your execrate ball sucking swinging little mate there that I supported sent the fucker money, right? Hundreds of fucking dollars. The, the wee greasy little fucking grifter like you grifting for you, Adele, right? Execrate shit. What's that smell? That's funny. His name's execrate. Isn't execrate another word? For execrete. Excrete. Isn't that another word for shite? Cause I'm about to execrate. Uh, uh, an experiment, uh, an execrate experiment, uh, a free fall. I'm gonna show the French 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 comes. And the French 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 so-called direct realist rising earthers we're going to uh we're going to drop the, the rising earth rock from a flat perfectly level stationary plane and we're going to drop um Williams I mean Williams uh uh, ding dong ball, fantasy ding dong ball. At the same time, from the same level plane, stationary plane. Okay, and we'll see if density and buoyancy actually matters or exists, rather. Because these fucking nim nimrods uh, want you to hand wave, dismiss weight and buoyancy and free fall. Right? They say it doesn't exist. Well, I'm going to show you what exists in reality, you rising earth fucktards. And your potato, your, your rising potato rock earth. Because you, the, the reference frame you need for the potato rock, which we just got out of, you need that imaginary reference frame for your rising earth. Because if it's an open open atmosphere it changes things if it's a closed atmosphere it drastically changes everything like your water bottle ex false equivalency experiments right this is not a false equivalency experiment fuckwits this is a experiment anyone can repeat test and measure so we're going to measure the speed the time and the distance okay the distance from this flat stationary horizon to the motionless ground we stand upon and what we experience, right? We're gonna measure that distance, the time it takes, and then we're gonna put a balloon at the center point. We'll find a measurement here, the exact center, and we'll mark it and release the helium balloon at the same time as we drop the same rock. And we'll measure the speed, time, and distance again and form an equation that won't leave you baffled like you fuckwits are doing. It's pretty easy to fucking uh, um, debunk the rising earth if you got a fucking brain. That's why nobody goes to Dell's chat with a brain like scientists or physicists because they know it's fucking nonsense. Even his own handler, Gavin, won't go and speak on it. So that should tell you something, guys. Wake the fuck up. This guy's a fucking idiot. He's either a plant, a shill, or both, right? Because it's easily debunked.
with these two experiments I'm about to show you. Not to mention speed measuring devices that measure downward fucking vectors from parachuters trying to break fucking speed records of almost 300 kilometers per hour. How is that possible, shitheads, shit shed heads? on a fucking if if the if weight isn't part of the equation like banner said like how does the parachute open if there's no fucking counterweight you absolute fucking dipshit idiots on task is the only explanation lads that's all i can say because it's common fucking sense in this reality we do not experience any motion this is just another fucking plant right trying to spread division and chaos like the like the masonic fucking jesuit piece of shit he is right you can't hide you can't hide that shit you don't get them tattoos for fads right lads just saying okay let the gravity density the buoyancy direct realist testable repeatable experiment begin Test each way, once this way, once that way, again this way, again that way.
Game over. Game over. There you go. A direct reality, practical demonstration anyone can do. Game over, Dim. The, 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 the elevator. Or first. Okay, so there you have it, guys. A direct reality experiment with two objects of different mass, volume, weight, etc., buoyancy, which all exist in reality, by the way, which I just demonstrated. Dell. Game over. So, the next experiment, I'm going to drop. I'm going to drop the bomb on the rising earthers, right? With another experiment that shows in reality a rising earth is ridiculous, right? It's a mute point, right? These are mute point earthers, agents of deception, right? We're not moving, okay? And the balloon and the rock will, will do in the same reference frame, release at the same time from the middle this time, and you're going to see in reality and you can do this yourselves at home what happens and which one is the rock gonna here what do you think leave in the comments before i do the video i want to hear what you guys think is the rock going to fall first or is the balloon going to rise to the top of the reference frame first i know what's going to happen because i know what this reality dictates is going to happen do you del tards delevator tards Well, that's definitely shite.